Think you know black holes? Think again. These mysterious cosmic phenomena have been the subject of many myths and wild speculations. Today, we're diving deep into the heart of darkness. Supermassive black holes, those behemoths lurking in the centers of galaxies, including our own Milky Way. In this video, we'll explore what makes these giants tick, and what doesn't. Supermassive black holes, millions to billions of times the mass of our sun, defy simple explanation and yet captivate the imagination of both scientists and the public alike. Join me as we bust some of the biggest myths surrounding these enigmatic giants and reveal the truths hidden within their seemingly inscrutable existence. The image of a black hole as a cosmic vacuum cleaner, relentlessly sucking in everything within its vicinity, is a popular misconception. Let's clarify. Black holes don't just consume indiscriminately, they interact with their surroundings in more complex ways. For instance, when a star gets too close to a black hole, it can be torn apart by tidal forces, a process known as spaghettification. However, not everything nearby is doomed to this fate. Much depends on the object's trajectory and speed. Moreover, the accretion disk, a swirling disk of material that orbits some black holes, actually regulates the consumption of material. This disk, heated to extreme temperatures by gravitational forces, can also propel some material away from the black hole in powerful jets. These jets can be so intense that they're one of the few ways black holes can be detected across vast interstellar distances. Thus, black holes, rather than being mindless eaters, are dynamic and selective in their interactions. Another common myth is that black holes act as cosmic vacuum cleaners, pulling everything inexorably toward them. It's crucial to understand that the gravitational pull of a black hole, while immensely strong at close range, does not extend infinitely. Objects in the vicinity of a black hole must cross a specific boundary, the event horizon, to be drawn in. Outside this boundary, the gravitational effects of a black hole are similar to any other object of the same mass. For example, if our sun were suddenly replaced by a black hole of equal mass, the Earth's orbit would remain unchanged. The fear that black holes roam the galaxy, sucking up stars and planets is unfounded. Their gravitational influence is potent but not boundlessly so. This chapter aims to demystify the nature of gravitational pull and clarify that black holes are not cosmic vacuum cleaners. It's often said that black holes are invisible, but this isn't entirely true. While it's correct that black holes themselves do not emit light, they can be some of the brightest objects in the universe. This apparent paradox is due to the material in the accretion disk surrounding the black hole. As matter is pulled toward a black hole, it accelerates and heats up, emitting intense radiation visible across great distances, sometimes outshining entire galaxies. This process makes black holes detectable and studyable from Earth. Observations of these emissions have led to significant discoveries about the properties of black holes. The idea that black holes are invisible is a half-truth. They are invisible in direct observation but incredibly conspicuous by their interactions with nearby matter. Let's tackle the myth that all black holes are gigantic. While it's true that the term supermassive can imply an enormous size, the reality is a bit more nuanced. The massive in supermassive refers to the mass of the black hole, not necessarily its volume. Black holes can indeed have masses that are millions to billions of times that of our sun, but this mass is compressed into a very small area by gravity, leading to a high density. The event horizon of a black hole, the point beyond which nothing can escape its gravitational pull, might be large compared to everyday objects, but it's quite small on a cosmic scale. This chapter will clarify the difference between mass and volume and emphasize the compact nature of these fascinating objects. The portrayal of black holes as gateways to other dimensions or times is a popular trope in science fiction, but it remains just that, a trope. While black holes do indeed cause extreme distortions in space-time, due to their immense gravity, there's no evidence to suggest that they are space-time portals. Theories about wormholes, which are hypothetical tunnels connecting different points in space-time, are often confused with black holes. However, these remain speculative concepts within the realm of theoretical physics. This chapter discusses the origins of the space-time portal myth in popular culture, and explains why current scientific understanding does not support this notion. 
The final myth we'll bust today is the idea that anything falling into a black hole is crushed into oblivion. While it's true that the gravitational forces within a black hole are staggeringly intense, the actual experience of crossing the event horizon could be less dramatic than popularly imagined. The process known as spaghettification, where objects are stretched into long, thin shapes by gravitational forces, is what would happen to objects as they fall towards a black hole. However, this stretching is different from an all-out compression or crushing. Depending on the size of the black hole, some theoretical models suggest that an object could pass the event horizon without immediate destruction, although its ultimate fate is still sealed. This chapter explains spaghettification versus the common misconception of being crushed. Today we traverse the event horizon of knowledge, busting myths and uncovering truths about black holes. From their selective eating habits to their misunderstood gravitational pull, and from their radiant accretion disks to their compact but massive nature, we've seen that black holes are more fascinating and complex than myths suggest. I encourage you to continue exploring the mysteries of black holes and other astronomical phenomena. There's so much more to learn about the cosmos, and each discovery tells us more about the nature of our universe. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Don't forget to subscribe for more myth-busting videos and explore beyond the boundaries of our current understanding.